Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having an incredible day. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can tell the difference between male and female euphorbia obesa flowers. And before I say anything guys, I have to show you the weather. It is actually snowing at the moment. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and although it is cold, the plants, you can see the polytunnel there, the plants are all neatly tucked up in the polytunnel and um, the heater is on, so they're all kept nice and warm in there. And obviously the euphorbias, such as these here, we have in the window, um, inside the house, because they are not as cold hardy as the other cacti and succulents. But just wanted to share that with you. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> and the snow is always nice and bright, which I like. And um, I was saying to Hans, honestly, we don't get snow here in Ireland, very rarely. And of course, the year he moves over, we get hurricanes and snow and uh, every type of weather under the sun, excuse the pun. <laughs> anyway, back on track. Um, this has always confused me with euphorbia flowers because first of all, they're not actually strictly flowers. They're actually called Cyathea. And, but obviously everyone sort of knows them as flowers and they do, the, they do the same thing as in the male flower carries the pollen and the female is the ovary in where the, um, the seed gets pollinated. And I have pollinated these before in the past. I did it actually the year before last and I got seed last year that I haven't sowed yet. I'm going to be doing that in the spring, so stay tuned for a video. But it, it was a success and literally just using a little, a little tiny brush, transferring the pollen from the male plant to the female flowers. But how do you know which is which? Well, first of all, <laughs> this is the female flowers here. And I'm not going to even try and get the macro on it because it's not going to, it's so tiny. Um, that it's very difficult to see. But basically, the female flowers come out on the tiny, tiny little, tiny ball-like little flowers here. This is what they look like when both the male and female flowers start to form. They come out very small um, at the top here. And then the male flowers will come out at the top the same as the female. But the female flowers actually form a triangular shape. Now, I'll just show you here, this is going to be a lot more easier to explain. Now I'm overlapping this now with a photograph of one of my Euphorbia obesas when it was flowering and it's a close-up macro photo. So I'm going to show you this now. And as you can see in this photograph, it actually has a triangular shape with um, the, sti the um, stigma coming out on tiny little stems out from the, the flower head. And this forms a triangular shape. And that's how you can tell that it's the female flowers. So if you have flowers on your euphorbia bees, you'll have to get the magnifying glass out to identify whether it's male or female. But that's the female. So if yours look like this, then you know that you've got the female plant there. Now the male one um, actually comes out similar. Now this is what can make it confusing. But instead of it coming out in a triangular shape on the stems, they come out, they could be either one stem, two stem, three, four, five stem, and they just come straight out um, with the, the little pollen at the end of it. And I haven't got a photograph, unfortunately, to show you, and there was no decent ones online I could even show you to recommend. But basically, I've done a little drawing here. <laughs> Might not be the best. And I'll show you here, guys. Now, this is the, um, obviously, <coughs> the male flowers here. <laughs> I'll just show you, just show you how it's going to look. It might not be the best. Excuse my drawing, guys. Now, that's the male flowers. As you can see, they come out on the little tiny stems up here, which are very, very tiny, out to the, the main sort of flower part here. And they come out, they're similar to the female ones, but they literally come out straight, and there could be one, two, three, four, or five or six. And the little tiny pollen is at the end there. So if yours look like this, and excuse the drawing, then you know that it's male flowers. But if yours look like this, and it just literally has three coming out, and remember it forms almost like a triangular shape um, going across, and I will just take the camera up here, you may be able to get a little bit of the macro, possibly there, that's the female flowers there. Um, let's see, the lighting might not be the best. I say the photograph is, is the better that I showed you earlier. Then you know that that's the female flowers. And obviously just to pollinate, it's so easy, you just get the pollen off the male flowers um, with a little brush and transfer it on the female flowers. And as I say, I did this the year before last and it was a success. So guys, <laughs> I, I'm sorry I haven't got a picture of the male flowers to show you, but 
basically you do know if it's coming out like that on the stems um, more more than more than three or four or five um, you know then it's the male flowers but always in a triangular shape it's the female flowers and um, that hopefully will save confusion and also just to let you know that some euphorbia plants do have um, so many euphorbias will have male and female flowers on the same plant but with euphorbia obesa you only get male or female plants so you will never get um, a euphorbia obesa having both female and male flowers on the same plant the plants are either one or the other so just to let you know that you never get male and female flowers um, together on your obesas but you may on some of your, your some of your other euphorbia so it all depends obviously what type of euphorbia you have and I say this video is really about euphorbia obesa flowers or the cyathea as it's called and as I say I'm not an expert on the flowers on euphorbia so um, excuse me if I do say things that aren't 100% correct or I don't know everything about it this is purely from my own research that I've been doing and um, hopefully it will help save you out with any confusion um, because it was so confusing for me to work out and as I say there were no really good photographs on the internet even to explain the differences but as I say again just another recap to save confusion the male flowers come out on sometimes one, two, three, four or five more stems going straight up, up at the top carrying the pollen and the female will only have the three stems forming an almost triangular shape and that's how you know. So guys, and also a little bit of care, if you want to hear a little bit of care about how to grow your phobia obesas, I'll probably make a separate video in the coming days on how to care for this amazing plant, but it is so easy to look after. As I say, it's not the coldest of hardy, hardy plants. I, well, we bring these into the house for the winter, and they, as they're like ideally a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. They can take colder than that, but just to be safe, they're not as cold hardy as other succulents and desert cacti and keeping them dry um, over the winter and as cool as possible and they will they will flower for you in the coming spring or in this case they're actually flowering now in the winter for us so you can never predict plants <laughs> but um, they're amazing unusual plant to grow we have a few here these are the normal sort of euphorbia obesas this is euphorbia globosa times obesa which is a cross hybrid and they normally start off usually bowel shaped and then over time they grow more elongated and taller almost like um, a serious columnar type of uh, succulent so guys it has actually stopped snowing <laughs> so me and Hansi, um, his Hansi will say hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> we want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from a snowy belfast until the next video guys bye bye, bye, -bye.